And now, a man I had the pleasure of introducing earlier, Major General the Honourable Michael Jeffrey, is going to give us some insights into the awards and his continuing journey with them. Please welcome him to the stage. Lovely to see you Lovely again. Lovely to see you again. Last time we spoke, you mentioned the possibility of creating a foundation to run the awards. How's that going? Well, Tracy, I think it's gone extremely well, namely the foundation has been established and it's due once again to uh, Joseph, I'm sure ably supported by his wife Angela and his team. And it's a real pleasure for this to uh, actually have occurred because what it does, I think, is now establish uh, the ethnic awards for the real long term with a proper structure, organisational structure, fundraising structure, governance structure, etc. And uh, it will do a great deal to reduce some of the workload on Joseph. And I know Angela will very much appreciate that. Because just think about, just looking at this organisation here tonight, but when you think about the several hundred of candidates in the ethnic uh, awards that have had to be looked at, reviewed, judged, uh, videos made on the winners, it's a huge, huge workload. But what it's done for this country, I think, has been absolutely extraordinary in encouraging uh, ethnic businesses and stronger economic growth for the nation. Well, Joseph and Angela are two of the hardest working people I know, so that is incredibly welcomed. Um, now, what about the establishment of some form of alumni organisation as well? Well, that's uh, going to occur, and I think it's a very a wise move. But firstly, of course, you've got to get the, the, uh, the basics uh, done, and that is the foundation. But the alumni will now be the next uh, cab off the rank. And patently what we want to attract uh, to that alumni are people who really have energy go uh, in the business world. And the, the obvious candidates uh, to, uh, to really kick that off will be, I think, previous uh, award winners and nominees for the Ethnic Business Awards because they show all the characteristics of what this country wants. Leadership, doing the tough yards, family environment, because most of them are families. Uh, and so to get a group of those as the alumni to support the foundation will be a terrific uh, move. That's a brilliant idea. You've been involved with the awards for many, many years. What are some of your highlights? Well, I think the, uh, the highlights, of course, are the stories. Because just about every story that you, that you, that you as you'll hear tonight, have been stories where people have come from very, generally, from very, very difficult uh, uh, or uh, yeah, hard circumstances, particularly if they're immigrants. And perhaps where they haven't had education, no money, families uh, broken up, very sad circumstances in home countries, and they come to this country, and what do they do? They get themselves educated uh, by working 12 hours and then going off to night school or to university. Then they have a shot at establishing a business. They have to learn a language, and they do it. Every single one of them do it. And to me, that's the inspiring thing. And if I had my truthers, I'd like to see the whole of the Canberra Press Gallery here on these occasions to listen to these inspiring stories and get it out widely to the uh, to the community, because SBS does a great job. But let's get a few more as well who can uh, help uh, get that message out. I agree entirely. What I love is I can see your passion. You know, you're absolutely wedded to this concept. Any closing comments? I just want to, uh, I think, uh, congratulate uh, again Joseph and uh, Angela. I think it's his birthday too, isn't it? Something pretty close to a birthday. I think we should give him a round of applause. For that. <laughs> he's only uh, he's only 32, uh, <laughs> but I, uh, as the instigator, the designer, and having worked on this now for over 30 years, his contribution with Angela and the team. Uh, to, uh, to bring this to the heights that it's uh, now reached and now where it's going to be a permanent thing I think is magnificent. And I think the other thing, of course, is to congratulate all those who are participating tonight and along with all those who participated in the previous three years. They've all made a wonderful contribution to our nation in so many ways. Well, thank you so much for your support and in the past and looking towards a very bright future. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, Grace. Thank you very much.